Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add rows and columns within a data set. So let's say for example we have a small little table here and we wanted to add some extra rows in between. Now there's many ways you can do this. You can go under insert, insert rows, it will insert a row, or you can use a keyboard shortcut, let's control Z to undo that, you can use a keyboard shortcut Alt I R that will insert a row. There's also another keyboard shortcut that is shift control and then the plus sign. You can just keep pressing that and that's going to add extra rows there. Let's delete these rows here. If you wanted to be a little more targeted, I'm going to delete these rows first and insert like maybe a row after each item. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can select, you can multi select these. You might think that, oh, I can select from here and maybe insert insert a row and it'll insert a row but no what it's going to do is since you selected eight rows it's going to insert eight rows it doesn't insert a row after each item control z to undo that what you need to do is you need to press the control key while you multi select each row not uh, select the whole range so you have to kind of click the mouse key again and again after each one then you can use right click insert or go under insert here insert rows and it's going to oops uh, I must have multi selected something here let me select this again select that press the control key select that select that select that six seven and eight uh, right click go to insert and now it's insert inserted a row after each one. Actually, I didn't need one up here, but I think you get the gist of what I'm talking about. So that's one way we can do it. Control Z to undo that. Another way to do it is to add a helper column here. What I'm going to do is type in one, two, and that just kind of starts the the linear progression of one, two, three, just to, to set up a list here. And after I do that, I can just copy Control C to copy, Control V to paste here, and this helper column is just be a list. And what I can do now is I will create a list here. I'll turn on a filter and sort it from smallest to large. Now you'll see that that showed up, right? And after that, I've got a row here. So I just need to just delete that. I'll right click, delete. And I have, and then maybe I can turn off my filter here. And then I have my blank rows here. And if I wanted to do something where I'd have more than one row separating it, control Z, control Z. I can create another one here. So control C, copy, control V to paste. Let's see if I can sort it. Oh, oh, it only sorted that range because I didn't include this range in the original filter. Control C to undo that. Let's select my range again. Go to sort filter, turn the filter on. And maybe I can just sort it here. Let me do, let me do a custom sort here. It's the same thing. And I'll select my list here and sort A to Z. And now I've got my three here. So you see in this instance, I have two rows that are separating it. So that's the other way we can do that. Now, in addition to doing this by rows, we can also do this by columns. I'll just show a couple examples here. So we have our items here that is transposed. As I mentioned before, you can go under insert. We can insert column here. It's gonna insert a column or I can go and click on one of, one of these columns here, control shift and plus, it inserts that. If I wanted to insert two columns, I can do, uh, let me use the keyboard shortcut now, it's gonna be Alt, I, and now it's C for column, right? So I've inserted two columns there. And in addition, what I did before, if I wanted to insert one column after each of the items, let me multi-select that by pressing the control and multi-select, right click and delete. What I can do is I can also multi-select in this case, uh, select, press the control key, press column C, D, E, F. I don't need the G because I have something after that. And I can right click or left, left click or right mouse click and go to insert and it's gonna insert a row afterwards, right? And the same thing that I did earlier, oops, I forgot to add one there. Control Z to undo that. So what I did earlier with the one, two, three, I can also do in this instance, I can have it have one, 
tab to tab three. Let's select this range and pull it out here. It's going to copy that or increment that. Control C to copy, it's going to copy one to seven here and Control V to paste, it's going to put it over here. What I can do is I can sort this by column. So I'm going to select my column here, go under the sort, do custom sort. Whoops, do I want to expand this? Let's see if I can do continue with the current selection and see if it'll sort it. Right? And I want to go under options, go to sort left to right. So it's going to sort from left to right. So click OK, click OK, and let's see what it does. Oh, it sorted it without sorting it above. So I did need to expand this selection. So let's Control C to undo that. Let's select column one, two, three. Again, now go into sort and filter, custom sort, click on options sort left or right, click OK. Now I want to sort by the third row, row number three. So that's going to be smallest to largest. It's going to sort everything based on row three. Click OK. And now you notice I have my columns here that are separate. So I can just select that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll just press the delete key and I have my separators there. So there's are multiple ways that we can add rows and add columns within our range of data. So we can do it for the columns here, which I showed, and we, all, we can also do it for the rows here, which I showed. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.